Hello everyone, this is Law, and welcome to Stupid Camtasia Tricks. This is volume one entitled, A Cure for Hideously Boring PowerPoint Slides in Your Camtasia Videos. Let's start off with a little bit of an overview. How many times have you seen a boring or lame Camtasia video? You know the ones. Someone opens up the application they're going to demonstrate, and then they talk for 10 minutes without doing anything visually, or maybe they use some PowerPoint slides to cover their talking points, which is better, but they use one of the really lame templates included in PowerPoint. Well, I think we can do better than that. And the reason we'd want to do such a thing is simple, really. By creating something that's visually interesting, we can captivate our users. We can appear more professional, and we can really set ourselves apart from the crowd. The goal, of course, is more sales. And that's what Stupid Camtasia Tricks is all about. So here are the components to Volume 1 and the general flow of what we'll cover. We'll start off with a stupidly simple set of PowerPoint slides. Then we'll pull them into a third-party application called Ovation from Sirius Magic. We'll record our Ovation version of our slides, and we'll ship it to Camtasia Studio for editing, a little bit of polish, and then finally render them out to our finished set of video files, all ready for uploading to our website. We got a lot to cover, so let's get started. This stupid Camtasia trick starts off in Microsoft PowerPoint. These are the slides that you've seen in the samples that I did. And using at least a few PowerPoint slides is really a great idea when you're explaining concepts or features and benefits, or maybe just giving an overview of your product or service to your audience. They're a quick and easy way to add visual impact and focus your narration as opposed to just talking to a static screen, kind of like I'm doing now. As you can see, I have three mind-numbingly simple slides here. No templates, no backgrounds, pretty basic stuff. The only thing I've done to these slides is to add some simple builds so that the bullet points come in one at a time instead of all at once. This is simple to do. Just right-click in the bullet area, go to Custom Animation, and Add Effect. We want it to happen on entrance, and just choose Blinds is fine. If I hit the play button here, we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so this is our content. What we want to do is save it to your hard drive somewhere because we're going to be using this a little bit later. But right now we're going to head off to SiriusMagic.com and check out our other application. Okay, this is the real power lifter in this particular exercise we're doing. It's a PowerPoint add-in called Ovation. And Ovation is an amazing tool that works with PowerPoint to take these boring and lifeless slides and turn them into these wonderfully rich visual experiences that you see here. And these are basically the samples that you've seen that I created for Stupid Camtasia Tricks. The cool thing is that there's nothing special to learn, like flash programming or graphics creation, none of that. Just create the content for the slides in PowerPoint, export them to Ovation, pick a theme, and Ovation does it all. And that's uh, pretty much it. It's simple to do, and Ovation has a bunch of other useful features that we can use uh, to make better videos as well. It's really an outstanding product, and I highly recommend it. It's cost 99 bucks, and you can also download a free trial to play around and test with. Just be aware that the free trial puts in a rotating graphic uh, that the paid version basically gets rid of. So back to PowerPoint, I have downloaded and installed Ovation and we can see that it integrates very nicely with PowerPoint by this save and go to Ovation button. Since we have all of our content already, I'll go ahead and click that and Ovation will launch automatically. It will grab all of our slides as content and import them into the Ovation program. And Ovation has several different ways that it can handle our formatting within PowerPoint. Since our 
slides are very simple. We don't really have to worry about it too much, but I really also want to demonstrate just what ovation can do. So I'm going to pick the ovation style and let ovation do as it will with my slides. Down here in the slide tray, we can see my slides, but up here in the preview window, something's happening. Ovation has slapped some serious magic mojo on our slides, and we can see that they're already looking quite different than just the boring black and white slides that we had. This is called a power look, and there are lots to choose from. If you want to change the complete look and feel of your presentation, just pick a power look. And just like that, Ovation takes care of all of the details for us. You can sort by name or, or several other options to kind of find the types of power looks that we're interested in. But the real magic happens up here on the Options tab. Ovation has a few specialty slides that we can work with here. One called a walk-in, a walk-out, and an intro slide. And as I checked all those boxes, you can see that they're added down in the slide tray. Each of these can have some customized text to it. In the intro one here, I'll go ahead and put in stupid Camtasia tricks. And I'll also put my name in. And now for the really cool part. Watch in stunned amazement as my hands never leave my arms. Check this out. I'm going to click the walk-in slide. Wow! Pretty sweet, huh? And this is what ovation is really good. This is the coolest part of the whole trick. Okay, how about a different look? As I mentioned, Ovation has lots of them. Let's choose the Sketchy Office, which is one of my favorites. And the different colors here you can choose. I like the blue one. And Ovation automatically applies all of our changes, as we might expect, which is nice. And notice down here, my slide that had the graphic in it, of my picture, this power look takes that graphic and automatically inserts it into this little monitor window, which is kind of cool. Some power looks have special features like this and provide various special effects. If we go back to the Options tab. Some power looks let you add customized backgrounds here or foregrounds with transparency. And you can also drop in your own logo image if you like. And some allow for dynamic content. You can put in a word here, for example, and have it scroll across in the background. Or you can drop in one of your own images and have it wrap around a 3D rotating cube. All kinds of cool stuff like that. Not all power looks support all of these features, so you just have to kind of play around with them and see which ones um, can do which and which ones you're interested in. Okay, so that's all very fun and interesting, but what does it have to do with Camtasia? Well, all that happens up here in the Present tab. First, notice that Ovation has some really good tools for rehearsing and preparing your presentation, including this teleprompter window. You do rehearse and script your videos, don't you? What you can do is just enter in your script, or in this case, I'm going to copy and paste a little bit of pre-written script that I have here. We can just paste it in. Oh, and by the way, if your PowerPoint slides have notes in them, like this one did, Ovation will automatically enter those in as your script. And now we can move through the presentation with these navigation buttons. We'll go back to the beginning here and see our teleprompter. I can start that rolling, go through the different slides, rehearse my script until I'm happy with everything. And we'll be all ready to capture an excellent video. 
but there is a consideration here. Here's the deal. Ovation is, well, a program for enhancing PowerPoint presentations. If I were to hit the Start button here, Ovation would spring into full screen life just like a PowerPoint slideshow does and throw this incredibly stunning motion filled fantasia we've created out to what it thinks is probably a projector beaming it to a large screen of some type. Well, no problem, right? We just fire up our Camtasia recorder and capture all this full screen finery for our video, right? Well, hold on there, Skippy. Trying to record full screen, full motion video in Camtasia will tax the bejesus out of your computer and will generally leave you with a choppy video of incredible file size. I mean, there are ways to do this using custom video settings, but, you know, life's too short and I don't want to work that hard. So here's where we're going to get stupid with this trick. With our Camtasia recorder open, what I want to do is set it to record a window. And there are various ways to do this uh, in your settings. But the secret here is I'm going to just capture a specific window, and that is the little preview window right here. We're going to record this window specifically and rehearse our presentation, move through it with the navigation buttons, and the added bonus, of course, is that we also get to take advantage of our teleprompter as we record this very specific window. So we get the extra bonus of just capturing the good stuff. I can't actually show this to you specifically right now because I'm recording our entire Ovation window here, but the trick here is to just make sure Ovation is maximized with your button up here and set the recorder again to capture a window. Press F9 to record and point it at the preview window here. Follow your script, use your navigation buttons to move through the slides and Camtasia will capture it all. At a screen resolution of 1024 by 768, we get a recording of about 464 by 348 pixels at an excellent quality and a file size that won't break the bank. If you need a larger video size, just kick the resolution on your monitor up using your desktop settings to something like 1280 by 1024, and the preview window gets huge, about 720 by 540. Plenty for most situations. When we're finished with our presentation, just hit F10 to stop recording in Camtasia, save your video, and we'll open it up in Camtasia Studio for editing and some production. After pressing F10 to stop recording, I simply chose Edit My Video in Camtasia Studio, which of course opens up Camtasia Studio. And we have our video here in the clip bin that we recorded inside of Ovation. First thing you want to do is do a file save project as because Camtasia Studio doesn't do this by default. Of course, I've already done that. But it's a good little tip to always get in the habit of doing so. At this point, it's pretty much all Camtasia Studio editing. We just take our video, drag it down into the timeline. I can do things like uh, import some media. Maybe a little intro music would be nice. Drag that down to the audio track. We can do things, of course, like add transitions, callouts, uh, things of that nature pretty standard Camtasia stuff. And essentially when we're happy with uh, the way our video looks, we can go ahead and work on our production. Just go to File, Produce Video. I'm using Camtasia Studio 4, but the basic premise is the same. Uh, whether you're using Camtasia Studio 3 or not. Choose the file types that you would like. On the web, 
As in embedding into web pages, I recommend a flash or FLV output. If you're going to be uploading to something like uh, Google Video or YouTube, uh, you probably will want to go with a, a Windows Media or a, a QuickTime Movie format. And of course, when we're finished with that, the end result will be a nice little set of videos and the associated files in a folder. These will be all ready to upload to your website or again up to YouTube or Google Video. Well, that's about it for this version of Stupid Camtasia Tricks Volume 1. Thanks for watching. I hope you uh, got something out of it, and we'll see you next time.